Hello guys and welcome back to my devlog series for this action MMORPG called Uldor. In case you guys do not remember or if you have missed the first two parts, Uldor is a Souls-like action MMORPG which is being developed in Unreal Engine 5 and I'm not the creator of this project actually. I was assigned to work on it and I decided, you know, it would be cool if I actually make a devlog series so that I can show you guys the development of the game step by step. It's not gonna be like super detailed, you know, this is not a tutorial series. It's still very insightful if you are making games and if you are not and you're just a gamer, Definitely watch this as well, you know, it can make you appreciate games. So I know it has been forever since I uploaded one of those and it's because I've been so busy working on this game and in the workplace of Madness, which is my survival horror game. So anyhow, in this video, I want to be showing you the combat animations, the combat mechanics and the version on this video, it's not really the newest one. There were some additions to visual effects. I decided that uh, this version, you know, it's going to be um, the one better to show you. Things are clearer, visual effects aren't getting in the way. So yeah, this is the version you're going to see. So the first thing we have is combos for multiple weapons. So you can see we have a katana item set here. And of course, all of the animations, we are going to be changing them once we have our own animators. But for now, we are just using marketplace animations as placeholders to actually build the game. And then we have a heavy weapon animation set, which is the greatsword anim set. And also we have a longsword anim set. And of course, each of those actually has light attack combos and heavy attack combos similar to if you are pressing r1 or r2 in dark souls and both of them are integrated seamlessly so you can mix between both and they would be completely seamless without any issues or anything so this is what my anim graph for the combos looks like I used select nodes for everything, it's just very much easier like that. And I have variables for each and everything that will be changed between characters. So all of the animations for each weapon, they are an editable variable. And also how much stamina it takes, that's also, you know, for each attack I made an editable variable. And you can see how well it works over here, it's just a perfect system as it is now. There are no issues whatsoever with the animations blending or anything. Here's a little preview of the third weapon type, which is the sword and shield, or you can even use it without a shield. Next we have guarding, which is also a different animation for each weapon type. You can see each one has its own uh, animation and even its own blend space, so while you are blocking, you can move around and the character's feet will move. Not this one, but we, we can fix that later. The sword and shield will actually be different so that if you are blocking without a shield, it will play the sword blocking animation. It's just one of the things we forget to set up. But aside from that, guarding actually works and it protects you against some attacks. Other than that, something else we have is dodging or rolling. And I think I showed some of this in the previous video, but I don't remember, so we can just show that again, since um, it looks so good. So we have rolling, it rolls in 8 directions, and this is what the setup looks like. Over here, I'm probably gonna fix this and change it to a select node, since having so many copies is not really that smart, when you can have just one. So this one, I wanna remove that. Anyway, it's a very basic setup, you know, you calculate which direction you are moving in, it takes that and puts it into an enum and then depending on the enum it chooses which animation to play. If you are not locked on it plays either the forward or the backward. Next up we have lock on which is also a setup that I've been using for years. I just went back and refined it. So this lock on it will lock your camera and character to the enemy unless you are sprinting. So if you are sprinting he will just rotate to whatever the direction he's walking into. And when you have the enemy locked on, it shows his health bar and his stamina bar, his name and his level. It's just a very basic system and I really like working with it, you know. When I attack the enemies, you have to see some of the reactions. It's not really a finished system, so yeah, just ignore that for now. But you can see how cool it looks. This is what the hit reactions 
blueprint graph looks like in this build version that was showcased in the video of course i went back and cleaned that up so that it's only one line of blueprints but i wanted to show you how funny that is because i spent so many hours you know just trying to clean that mess up and i did clean that up in the end however it still could look a little bit better so i'm probably gonna go back and clean it again and one last thing i want to show you before ending this video is that this actually all works in multiplayer so you know the dodging the attacking the lock-on even the lock-on you know when the character is rotated to an enemy the other player can actually see that there are some things that are not perfect yet but they will be soon so we are making sure not to leave too much unreplicated just because you know when you have to go back and actually make it work in multiplayer you are going to be struggling a lot, so it's better to just replicate as much as possible before moving on. So guys, that was everything I wanted to show you today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe and all of that stuff. And also do not forget to go to the description, check out Uldor, join the Discord server for Uldor and also do do follow them on every social media thing so i will see you guys in the next video take care have a great day and bye